Hi everybody, I'm back with our lovely uh, Tim Holtz flavoured, botanical flavoured um, file folders. I'm really enjoying doing this and I'm not doing them half as often as I'd like to, but I am loving doing them. Now the last one I did, the, you know, the next one up if you like, is this one which is the purple page and this is my... Um, the one that I do first, just to make sure I kind of know where things are going so the video isn't hideously long for you. And I, I, I really like it actually, but I'm wondering if it's just not altogether a little bit too purple. It's just come to me like 30 seconds ago. I mean, I did have my purple piece here ready to go, which is the other half of that. Um, but I'm now wondering whether I want to use something, maybe this packaging. I really like that packaging. It's quite sturdy. It's a 49 in mark. It came with 45 mix and match die cut pieces. So, yeah, let's have a look at that. I mean, that's just pretty isn't it it's really nice so yeah I think I'm going to use that you know so let's pop that over to one side and get the right height for this oh it is looking nice it's looking nice I like that page I like them all actually so we're up to this one is the purple one and I'm thinking that I like the look of that against the purple more than the purple that I had cut out for it there you go it's our prerogative change our minds if we wish to let's just uh, measure where the height comes to on that it's better than chucking that I mean I can't think that I would ever chuck this out but you know I'm gonna use it that's what I'm gonna do so let's cut that off. Where I made the mark and then cut it off at about three inches, something like that. There we go. And I'm going to keep that as well because it's just lovely. Too lovely to do, to throw out. So overall, this measures six and a quarter, and I would like it to measure about three. Does that fit in there? Yeah, it does. Uh, so I'm just literally going to make a mark on three. And cut it off there. And you can use any paper card, whatever it is you've got. You could use the purple. I did like it, but I think I'm going to like this one better. So that's a nice remnant to keep, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's going to be our big side pocket. And I don't want it to be square like this. I want to tear it. And this is quite firm. <laughs> this. So, um, oh no, it tears quite nicely. It tears very nicely, in fact. So we'll just ink around that and then we've got our base for our pocket. Right, so that's inked around. Right, so next thing we want to do is, is it somewhere in this lot here, which is mostly, I would say, 49 and market, probably exclusively actually 49 and market. Uh, I want to have a look. Nope must be in the purple box which is severely depleted there's a little tag a little blue tag 
that I'm after. That's the fella, purple tag I should say, that I'm after. And that's it there. So I'm just going to ink around that and I think that can get stuck straight down. I'm not inking these particularly heavily, just enough to say they're inked. Like that. Pull that little, little hole out. Now I just want to put some twine in there. I like putting twine in the uh, tag tops. So I just put it through and knot it. That way I know it's going to stay in. So if you do it the other kind of more traditional way, it has a habit of working itself free. Uh, you know, unless you've used something thicker a bit. So that's fine. Great, let's just cut those off. That's ground right. Okay, so I want that kind of what have I got on the other one? Nothing, just that there. That's great. Okay, and then I want something kind of large and neutral for the centre. Large and neutral, anyone? <laughs> um, I'm thinking of putting this flower there. That's what I'm thinking of, which I do really like. It's a very thick chipboard piece, but, you know, we've got room in our folder for it. It'd be all right. Um... Where am I going to find a large neutrally colour from? Ah, oh, there's, there's one. Yeah, that one. Would that work? I want to bring that out to sort of there and then that one. Well, I think I'd have to cut some off it to be honest with you. So let's just cut a little bit off both sides of that and see where we're up to then. I'll cut up to the where the text stops. It's just a little big where it is. And see if it's too tall for us. So I want to bring that in a little bit from that edge and then that I want to come just to where the shoulder of that tag starts and that's going to go on there kind of like that. Yeah it's coming together, it's coming together. Um, put that back because I don't think I need that for the time being. Uh, let's let's ink around this cream cream piece. It's strange isn't it? I've used an awful lot of purple, large purple flowers of late and yet I would definitely say purple is not my colour. <gasps> just shows you. And I like them all when I finish them, so maybe purple is more of my colour than I think. I don't know. Right, so I'm actually going to bring that out a little bit to there. And I can bring that out as well if I want to. Right, so the next thing I want is... Uh, that's going to go on there, like that. That fits perfectly. So I'm going to worry about what's down the side of here and what's above there. Well, I'm going to worry about that now. So get your worrying head on. We're off. So I've got all my little peeps here. Um, and I want somebody sitting is what I want. I really ought to divide these up into groups, people who are sitting. They're sitting. Would they go on there okay? Yeah, I believe they would. I believe they would. I, I like those. I like those ladies. I can bring that down just a touch and get those to go there. 
I like that. I don't see anything wrong with that. Let's let's just say that's it. We're done. So let's pile all these back in here. I have too many paper dolls. You're quite right. I know you're thinking it, so I'll just say it. Way too many. I don't know how come I ended up with so much. I buy the Halloween ones when they come out. I buy the Christmas ones when they come out. And, you know, I've just... Oh, I've got thousands of paper dolls. And I go through fits and starts of using them, actually. Sometimes I use them kind of every project that I do. And other times they don't get a look in. So, But that's nice. I like that. Now, do I need to put something down the side here? I do have something in mind. Uh, this is box of 49 and market tickled. Tickled? <laughs> Tickled Essentials in Eggplant, which is this, well, there it's, I'll describe it as a seedless preserves colour, but these stamps are definitely purple. So let's get them out and see, see what we can do with these. Kind of want that to come down to the bottom. So I'm going to cut that off there. Well, they're perforated actually, so you don't need to cut anything. Just tear along the perforated line. Put those to one side. So if I had that in under there, what do we think of that? I think it's quite nice. I like the look of it. Yeah. That's going there. Yeah. Okay. So now... I don't want to crowd this, that's the thing. I do not want to crowd it. Um, I've got that little ticket stub. I've got a... Come on. Uh, that, that's going on to there. Uh, yeah, I've got this collage strip, which would could go there. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to cut. Would I like it better on top? That's the question. Um, yeah, I believe I would actually just break that up. So I'm just going to cut that along there. These collage strips are the handiest things ever. And if you remember, I did a video not long ago on how you could make your own collage strips. Just so useful. So that can go just over there, but that's going to be one of the last pieces that we stick on. Onto there. And, ah, yeah, something along here. It says, remember this. I don't dislike that, that's okay. Anything else? Any other bits and pieces? Little words? Anything like that? No, I mean I've got my Timmy words but this that says you are my rainbow apropos nothing <laughs> um, Oh happy day I quite like that Oh happy day I like that actually um, got this that says great times I don't think that's going to work but we can try it well I don't actually dislike that but it's just too much down the bottom here so I think I'm going to go for oh happy day I like it right there we are there we are so let's get sticking shall we well, those are going to be some of the last pieces to go on, as is that. Um, probably the postage stamps are going to go on first, so let's just give those a quick ink. So I'm videoing this on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and you will hopefully, if it all works out, get to watch it on Monday so I don't know when Linda's coming back I think she's going to visit her sister in 
DC. I uh, don't know when she's back, but I hope she's having a nice time. So I'll just say another quick shout out for Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. I hope you're okay. I hope you're being a good girl for your mum and dad. I'm sure you are. You look like a very good girl. Right, so I'm going to stick these down here. Let's just do it. Let's stop faffing around and get it done. I'm trying these days to use a bit less glue than I've used in the past because it strikes me as using way too much. So let's move that out of the way. Put these down almost to the bottom but not quite. Just up that edge there. Like so. Marvellous. Got something stuck down. Yay! Um, next thing I want to stick down, oi, sorry, sorry flowers, um, is this and I want to stick it there. So I'm just going to stick it in midair if you like. Well, I decided not to. I want it there, just where the shaping of that tag starts just like that marvelous so that's gonna go well we're good, where it goes depends on how tall the ladies are of course that's perfect there absolutely perfect i do just want to move it across a little bit so as i get to see some of these stumps otherwise it was a bit pointless putting them in is that square no, not quite. It looks wrong. It's only a millimetre or so, but it looks looks not right. So let's take that off and do that again. Just going to have to move it up away from the bit of paper that I've just torn off. I think that's it now. Pretty sure that's it now. Okay, so where did I have these ladies? Let's go into that. And I think actually the thing to do is to stick those on first. And then I can stick the whole thing down. So let's just check that. I want them sitting on the, sitting on there, like that. That's nice, like it. And they're going to go there. Perfect. Perfect, I'd say. Right, okay. So what I want to do is, now that I've got that in the place, it's placement correct, I want to just make a line on this stamp here where that's going to come to. So it's going to come to there. I'm just a little bit up the corner. And I'm going to put some washi tape on it because I'm going to make a pocket. And what I don't want to happen is this ledge where the stamp begins inhibiting the um, card getting in and out of the pocket. So I've got some washi tape here. Doesn't matter what sort of washi tape you use, it can be any any old stuff that you like or don't or don't like more particularly. And it's just to make that bump into a ramp. So half on the stamps and half on the card. Just like that, just to the top of the stumps there. 
there we go now put a little bit of glue down just to make sure it sticks because if it doesn't we're snookered we can't get in there and press it down or anything once we've stuck the top bit on it so that's great in fact that's marvelous <laughs> that's marvelous i don't know why i found that funny <laughs> just bear with I've got to go back and see the dietitian tomorrow. No, it's not the dietitian. It's the ear, nose and throat man. Those of you that have been around me for a, a while will know that I have suffered from tumours that grow in my, in the sinus under my eye on the right hand side. For, I don't know, four or five years now, I've had four big, big, big operations. Um, but every time it's come back. So this time I'm really hoping it hasn't come back because, quite frankly, I can live without it. Let's get the stamps out, see what we've got. These little ones from Creative Expressions by Sam Poole are fabulous. I love them. I know you're a ways away, but can you see that there along the bottom? It says specimen number. And I'm thinking that is going to be perfect for uh, just going in there. I think so, anyway. Oh, that's great, mister. I've dragged you in a little bit, which is... Uh, Marvellous. Right, so I'm just going to use my Versifying Clair in black just to stamp this on there. Hopefully that's worked. Oh, perfectly. Perfectly. They're lovely stamps, these. I cannot speak highly enough of these stamps, really. I mean, you might have guessed that already because I'm always going on about them. But for people that do botanical stuff, and I think there's a lot of people that follow me here and in the group that do botanical things. They are the bee's knees. The bee's knees is what they are. Right, I'm just going to ink uh, around there. Well, I would if I knew where my dauber was. Dauber. I need to get one of those things on your phone, you know. Oh, there it is. It's where it should be. That's why I wasn't looking in the right place, because it's where it should be. Yeah, you know those things that you can find your keys with? <laughs> Boy, could I use one of them. I'm always losing things. Mr F sort of ignores me for a while, and then as I get more and more desperate, stop flinging things out of drawers, etc., Go and sit down. I'll find it. <laughs> He's so good. He invariably does, of course. Right, so that's just on there like that, which I kind of like. Um, so that's going there. Okay, what else did we say? Well, the flower. The flower's going on there. Now, I don't care if this is sticking out a little bit. Uh, in reality, I don't think it is going to. Maybe a touch. And I wouldn't normally go around flowers with a bit of ink, but I'm just going to lightly kiss this one because it's very white. The white is very white. And I don't really want that. Looks better with a bit of ink on it, I think very tempted to go over the flowers but no leave them alone let's stick that on then so I'm interested to know those of you that are doing this along with me no reason why you should I mean I'm just giving you ideas basically for pockets and stuff but if you are doing the um, craft file folder thingy um be interested to know how far you you are along with it if if I'm going too slow for you because if I am I can certainly speed up 
because I think at the moment we're probably doing one a week, if that. Right, I'm going to put that there. That looks good to me. Okay, let's give that a good press down. There we go. Lovely, lovely jubbly, in fact. Okay, so that's going there. We know where that's going. Um, anything else? I do like this much better with the cream background, I'll be honest. Uh, I should have a little... Well, there's no reason why I should have, but I thought I had a little sort of purple... purple flowery thing that might do the trick where's that coming to there so yeah I mean I could cut that off so it's just those two there or just put that there I think that's going to be more successful let's put that there I don't think I've cut that off exactly what you might call straight let's do it on the blinking thingy. Honestly, I'm useless. Oh, nearly trimmed my thumb off there. Right, that's got to be straight now, surely. I must say, for anybody wondering about um, the Tim Timmy trimmers that I've got, you know, are they, if you're just starting out, are they a good investment or, or not, basically? And I would say, yes, yes, they are. I love mine. I've got all three sizes, the tiny one, the ordinary one, I would call it, the one I use all the time. And I've got the 12 inch one as well. And they are all fabulous. I love them all. And that's going to go there. Right, now I've got some space that I could probably, possibly put some rub-ons onto. Let's not get carried away getting carried away here <laughs> oh dear I'm always getting carried away so don't worry one day it'll be the men in white coats that come to carry me away <laughs> well let's hope not eh so I'm just making this little pocket here so I'm going around three sides of it and I might have a bit too much glue there and there, but I can wipe that off in a jiffy if necessary. So I'm just going to stick that where those lines are. Put that down. It's looking nice. I like. It. Oh, I should have stuck that while I was at it. What a ninny! What a ninny! There we go. All solved now. Problem? What problem? We don't have problems. Lovely. Okay, so then it's this that's going there. And I'm going to bring that right down to the bottom. And let some of that cream come through, I think. Uh, I'm just going to ink around there quickly. Yeah, so the Timmy trimmers. I love them. I use them all, all the time. They've never let me down. I shouldn't say that, should I? It's like a jinx. Say that and then you know the next day they're going to break. The only thing that does happen periodically is on the middle sized one, the handle gets a bit loose. But that's because I've forced paper through it that's too thick. So I know why. Let's bring that out to there. Yeah, so I, I know why it's doing it. But yet still I persist in making it cut through things that are just too thick for it. Like, you know, 10 sheets of paper or something. <laughs> it's hardly surprising that it does that. So I'm going to put that there, half on the, on the cream thing and half over the um, collage strips like that. 
a little bit of ink but more so around the side than anything. Oh, happy day. Lovely. It is a happy day. I hope you're happy. Whoever you, whoever you are watching, I hope you're happy. Because it's not something you can buy. It's not something you can send somebody, is it? But have it here. Have a bit of happiness. I got it at Tesco. <laughs> It'd be good on some occasions, wouldn't it, if you could buy happiness. There we go. Right, that's kind of that. But I'm thinking, I do like it. And the idea is also, yes, I did have an idea. Um, in my purple box, I think. Yeah, I've got this one. I'm going to... I'm going to try them. I've got several actually. Well, by several, I mean I've got two. That's probably a better one. Let's try it. So I've got myself a pocket in here, if you remember. We didn't glue it down. And because we put the, the washi over the stamps, we can get that in no problem. So now I've got a really nice, I, like, I prefer that to the other one, uh, a really nice little journaling card in there. Now, next thing is, am I going to put any rub-ons on it? It's almost too tempting, not too. <laughs> oh dear. I've got these leaves. I've got loads of things, let's face it. No, I don't need those. You don't need them. Put them away, girl. Put them away. Um, get the rub-ons out. Oops, that's upside down. Got all my little pieces in there so I can see them. Otherwise they tend not to get used. All my stickers, here's my rub ones. That's some on the other page as well. Um, but we'll see what we've got here. Uh, I've got this gap down here. So what can I put in there? Um, smile, yeah. Oh, happy day. Let's have a smile. Perfect for the cause. Just put those back over there for a second while I put this on. So all you do with the rub-ons, they're Okay. <laughs> you need the bit that's got the writing on it. Where did that go? I have no idea. <laughs> oh my goodness me, where's it gone? Oh, it's still stuck to the paper. Well, that answers that, doesn't it? I was going to show you how to use them, but that's not how you use them. So I'm going to put that down there. Oh, just before you stick it down, that's probably too late now. Make sure that you've got it exactly where you want it. Because once you stick it down, there ain't not no moving it. There we go. So you just rub it. I'll give you a little stick thing in with it to rub them with. I just use the end of my tweezers. Because you know I'd never find a little stick thing. And then once you think it's down, just pull it up. And there you go. I mean, I love these. They're so dark. Just the writing is very black and I like it. Uh, right, so I need something to go down there maybe. Possibly. Why would we miss that opportunity? Um, listen to your heart. Listen, to, this is my happy place. Yay, I like that. We've got a happy little page today, haven't we? This is my happy place. I can tell you, sitting here crafting is my happy place. I like it. It takes a lot to get me out of this house, I'll tell you that. Um, because I absolutely love being here. I love crafting. I love sharing it with you guys. Um, which way do I want this to go? Probably in. I don't know. 
Yeah, I think, no, I think that way. This is my happy place. There we go. So many references to happy. It's brilliant. Let's give it a bit of a rub and then pull the backing off. And if it's bringing some of the letters off with it, just place it down again and give it a bit of a rub. And it'll, that's it, you see? It all comes off like that. There we go. So glad we used the cream. So glad. Right, what else have I got that I can use then? Happy together. Would that fit there? Mm, maybe not. Don't know, would it? No, but hello, friend, would. Um, yeah, happy together. That's what I'm having. Oh, no, I decided that wasn't going to fit, didn't I? That's no good. Hello, friend. That's what I was going for. Just forgot what I was doing there. Which, if you me, is a very commonplace thing, actually. I used to hear my parents, you know, when I was younger, say, oh, you know, I'm fed up with this. You go into the kitchen, you can't remember what you went there for. I just thought, oh, it's just an old, old person's thing. Yeah, well, now I am that old person. Find myself frequently in places thinking, what? Or I'll tell you what I generally what what I do more often is, I think of something I want to look up on Google or wherever. So I get my phone out, you know, open my phone should I say because my phone's always around me, and go to open Safari, and then think, what, what was it I wanted to look up, and I just cannot cannot remember. It's most annoying. Wait, it's down. Right, there we are. Um, I think I'm almost, almost forced to put something up there. It's just a, a little bit blank. So let's see what we've got. We've got a, a fly. <laughs> got a beetle. Uh, what have I got on this page? Out on out, as they'd say up here. Out or out. Um, I just put a number. That might do the job. Oh, I'll leave that open there. It always took me half an hour looking through it to get to the right bit. I might just put that 20. It's 247, which is 24 7. So it's like happy every day. That's how I'm reading that anyway. So let's put that away. Lots of people ask me about the my storage system here. And it's just, it's a photo um, album. And each page has got like cellophane here that you peel off, stick your photo on, peel it back again. But I use mine for, well, as you can see, my little bits, toadstools, whatever. Whatever I have, I cut them out and I put them in there and it just makes them so much more accessible uh, for me to use. So that's that. That's the story of that. It's just... Right, I'm just, I'm going to put that just in from the edges, about there. I think that's perfect. I like that. And I think that's enough now. That's enough. Stop it. I can't get carried away with robots. <laughs> that's why I put the book away fairly smart, because I, I really can. And then we lose all that lovely blank space that we had. The negative space. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I can't lift this up. Let's try from the other end. These tweezers aren't the world's best. I must say that for them. The Sizzix, and the, and it's not the it's not the tweezers' fault. 
there isn't anything wrong really with the tweezers is the fact that I've been using them for embossing <laughs> heat embossing and um, yeah they've got embossing powder on it and then it's been heated up and stuff like you know what I mean so there we go that looks nice so let's bring in this page the purple <laughs> purple page there we go so that needs to get stuck down there so just along the three edges you know as you would to stick a normal a normal pocket in hope you like my nails by the way French manicure if you don't mind I know I thought I'd go posh this time I liked the blue last time but I just liked it you know what I mean I wasn't in love with it um, I thought it was going to be brighter and shinier than it actually inevitably turned out to be. So this time I thought, no, I'm, I've wanted a French manicure since I was, oh, I don't know, 13, 14 years old, I think. And now finally, at 63, <laughs> I've got one. So, yeah, probably from now on, every time you see my nails in the future, I'm going to have a French manicure now. I'll get, I'll get fed up with it soon. But I do like it at the moment. Right, so that probably needs clipping into place ultimately. Oh, you know, it might be all right. I don't know. Just give it a minute or two. Just give it a good firm press around there. Oh, that pink page is pretty, isn't it? pretty but that one is pretty actually I like it so pleased we went for the cream background it would have just been I think too busy with this so now we have to find something that can go in there as a journaling card so I've got all these 49 in market bits that's just too wide so I'm going to keep that because that will come in useful um, there's that one that's nice and these ones, aren't these gorgeous? I mean, they really are. Oh, that's so pretty. So is that one with the little forget-me-nots on. Oh my goodness, that's nice. But then so is that with the pansies. When it's in place, you can't see it. That's the problem. Let's try this. Is that too big? No, it's like made for the job. Actually, it might be even it might be a touch too big. A little touch too big. So let's just trim that top and bottom. Just a little bit, just so it goes in quite easy. Just a little bit. that much you can see how much I've taken off it's not much I tell you I can't commend 49 in market <coughs> stuff highly enough this stuff is glorious it really makes you want to create they've just brought out the Christmas 2023 edition I'm sitting on my hands so far <laughs> but I you know, I know I'm going to cave at some stage. Right, so that can go in there. I'll just ink around that, but that's perfect. Then we take that away. You've got the very busy background, which is nice. And then I'll, I'll ask. That just needs a little bit of glue down there, which I'll do after we've finished, and then I'll, clump, I'll clip it. And I'll bring the other one back in and see which one you prefer. It's the first time I've really deviated away from the first one that I've done. There we go. So it's just going to go in there like that. That's lovely. So I'll get Mr F to come and put the, the holes in because he's much better at it than I am. So I'll remove that first. I don't think that's going all the way to the holes, but we'll 
not take a gamble on it. So I'll pause you there while he does that. Right, okay, Mr. F has kindly punched our holes in. And what I forgot when I was putting that rub on, on was that the holes would go through it. But hey de that's just life, isn't it? Let's get this on. There we go. Right, so that's that. So let's bring in the prototype one and see which one. Oh, can you just pull out just a wee bit, Mr. F, please? Sorry. Lovely. So this is the one you've just watched me do. This is the one I did as a kind of, um, you know, prototype. Yes. Oh, I haven't put a card in that one. What's going on? Um, does that one fit? Yes, I believe it does. So there we are. That's right. Needs inking round, so bear with it. Right, we've got three ladies on the top. We've got two here. That tag is much further down on this one. Uh, that's a smaller piece than this. And, you know, little differences. Not much, really. But I prefer this one because it's lighter. This one is kind of very busy, I think. But I do like the writing on that purple paper, so I'm not discounting it as being a total duffer. Um, no, just prefer that one, I think. So there we go. That is our purple page. Next time, guess what? It's yellow. <laughs> I feel like we've done a yellow one. Have we done a yellow one already? Yeah, we have. The first page we did was yellow. So maybe I'll introduce quite a bit of um, cream into that. It's just sneak ahead and see what we've got got that one oh then blue oh lovely then green and then i've got duck egg blue here but i think the other one's got red so yeah lovely exciting times guys exciting times so i'll see you very soon take care everybody and remember to be kind bye